Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Zen and Zazen, starting from eight o'clock. Um, and starting from last week, I think we got the 30 minutes pranayama that Schwanz on So uh, today I want to talk again about Dogen Zenji's manual for Zazen. But before that, as always, let's sit together for 30 minutes. 坐禅椅,然后前面还是30分钟坐禅 
点快点。
thank you for joining. Today I want to talk again about Dogen Zenji's Fukan Zazengi. Allow me to share the screen. Um, I want to start with reading the Japanese part first and then I read the English. On the right side you find the Chinese version. Uh, the Japanese part today is Sunawachi Shoshin Tanza Ste Hidali ni Sobadachi Migi ni Katamuki Mai ni Kugumali Shili e ni Augu koto o ezale Mimi to Kata to Taishi Hana to Hozo to Taise shimen koto o yosu Shta Ue no agito ni kakete shinshi aitsuke me wa subekaraku tsune ni hiraku beshi. Bisoku kasuka ni tsuji shinso sude ni totonoete kanki issoku shi. Sayu yo shin shite gotsu gotsu to shite zajo shite. Kono fushilyo te o shilyo se yo. Fushilyo te ikan ga shilyo sen, hishilyo. Kore sunawachi zazen no yojutsu nari. And let me continue with the English version. Uh, maybe I also read uh, the part which we did uh, two weeks ago because they are connected. When you sit, spread a mat and put a cushion on it, sit either. Position. In the full lotus position, first place your right foot on your left thigh. Then your left foot on your right thigh. In the half lotus position, simply place your left foot on your right thigh. Tie your ropes loosely and arrange them neatly. Then place your right hand on your left leg and your left hand on your right palm. Thumbs, thumb tips lightly touching. That's what uh, we talked about two weeks ago. And uh, today's section starts. Uh, straighten your body and sit up straight. Uh, in Japanese, the expression is shoshin tanza. So, yeah, straight body. Straighten your body and sit upright would be the English translation for that. Leaning neither left nor right, neither forward nor backward. So that's kind of common sense. The difficult thing is you can't see your own posture while you, while you sit. So it sometimes happens that you think you're sitting straight, but actually you're leaning to one side or the other. So in that case, it can help if somebody's going around. Uh, for example, in Zen temples, we have the stick and sometimes somebody can adjust or put the stick against the back or when people feel sleepy, uh, they can uh, get hit with the stick. But in Antaiji, uh, Uchiyama Roshi, when he became the abbot uh, more than 50 years ago, 60 years ago or so, he decided to not go around with a stick anymore. And his reason for that was, if somebody is always patrolling with a stick, then people mm, will be aware ah, he's looking and they will straighten their back when they know somebody is walking behind. And when the person has passed, they sit like this again. So you turn Zazen into a game and you only sit for the person that's looking. So Uchiyama Roshi says, uh, let's stop going around with a stick. It's your practice. You're responsible for your own practice. The problem with that is, as I just said, uh, even if you do your best, often you don't really know how you sit. So when I became the abbot of Antaiji 20 years ago, I started to go around sometimes only well twice during the five day sessions and then I would also go around uh, during the one day se session so during the whole month maybe six times 
and during one month we would usually sit 150 periods of zazen so six out of 150 is not a lot but it helps if you can check from time to time um maybe uh Schwanzan, if you like you can translate and i can continue after that有前面上节课重复的东西我把前面上节课和老师刚才读的我简单的读一下其静是参禅以结饮食啊不是他总这样寻常做出出错了后面寻常做出啊服后服作物上用蒲团或结家服作或半家服作为结家服作先以右足安
I tried the stick one time and I cried. <laughs> it so hurts. <laughs> I tried the stick at um, Cao Gianji once. Okay, I'm a Cao Gianji. Um, it's a Zen temple. The for my first time it was summer. My clothes were not cover my neck. It was so hurt. <laughs> I cried. Um, who's come? Wu Fang teacher, what's up? Not seen. Let's wait a minute. So he's taking a very heavy hammer to hit you, not just gently hit you. It's very specific. I'm crying. Hit me in the head. It's because some teachers, some how to say, actually, Japanese people don't do that kind of hammer, you know? If he's a Japanese person, for example, we are common people, ah, when we go to the conference, 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 ah, 把那个搭在你肩膀上面，然后左就是应该是先搭左边哈，那这边敲两次，然后这边再敲两次。如果是个日本人的话，或者日本的和尚哈，他会轻轻的敲。但是有的时候是外国的和尚，你知道吗？他反而会很很用力的敲，就是应该是很就特别特别响，就是所有人都能听到。可能没有敲你哈，但是但是你听到旁边那人啪啪，你就就是特别特别响，就是很用力的，特别疼。OK。呃， did you translate up to now or did you fill the time? Because、uh, I have questions here. No,、uh, my student ask a question. I see. I see. Good. Good.、Okay. Um, let's continue a little bit.、Uh, align your ears with your shoulders and your nose with your navel. Well, that's also hard because I mean you don't know where your ears is and where your shoulders are. But basically, the point is that your ears should be above your shoulders, so you shouldn't be sitting like this. But you also shouldn't be sitting like this. But well, the ears ears are above the shoulders, and the nose should be. Above the navel, or actually, when my my computer dropped down, I was looking for a photo. I don't know if I can find it.、Um, there's a photo that I made a couple of years ago.、Um, maybe I can find it. Yeah, this one here.、Um, I stop sharing the text and、uh, share this one here. When I was still younger, my wife had this taken, and、um, well, the idea is here: the nose above the navel,、uh, so it's both in the center, and it's probably somewhere. If you look from right on top, it should be somewhere above your、uh, belly. Of course, that's also something that you can't really see by yourself. So basically, the idea is your chin is probably a little bit pulled backwards, and then the nose should be just above the navel. Then, ah, you're done. Oh yes, yes, please, please continue. Okay. Um, 后面啊，就是呃，要耳对肩，鼻对齐。老师刚才讲的耳对肩，因为我们自己在做的时候，你很就是大部分大部分人或者是或者是很难哈，你很难自己意识到有没有坐正，就是耳耳鼻耳朵要在肩膀的上面，然后要有意识，耳朵在肩膀上面，鼻子和肚脐是一条直线的。刚老师给我们看了他一个一个图片啊，因为你的手刚好是在小腹肚脐前面。手两个相两个手相对，和你的肚脐还有鼻尖儿，它应该是一条直线，所以你的下巴不能太靠前，也不能太靠后，稍稍往回收一点，然后刚好把鼻子对准你的肚脐。有的人他可能太靠前，或者是太靠后，这样都不好。所以就是你在坐下来的时候，应该是有意识的
耳朵在哪儿，肩膀在哪儿，鼻子和肚脐是不是对齐的，应该是有意识的。Um, let's continue with one more.、Um, that would be one where I would like also to ask Schwanzan for her opinion.、Um, rest the tip of your tongue against the front of the roof of your mouth, with teeth and lips together, both shut. So in this、uh, instruction for Zazen, there's not so many details about. The sitting posture. So it's funny that Dogen Zenji mentions this point, which a lot of teacher, including myself, if I teach about the sitting posture, I put more emphasis on other points than on this one.、Uh, but I think this is also sometimes mentioned in yoga practice that actually the tongue should be touching the top of the mouth, the roof of the mouth. And maybe it has something to do with the flow of the chi, the key energy.、Um, I'm not quite sure. And also, there seem to be varying opinions about if you should make a conscious effort that your tongue is always touching, or I also read in some books that's basically the natural way. If you have your mouth shut during meditation, then naturally. Your tongue will touch the roof of the mouth.、Um, so, well, one thing that you might check, probably most of you know, that during meditation, during zazen, you keep your mouth shut and you breathe through the nose.、Um, but、uh, about the eyes and the breath, maybe I can talk next time. Maybe Schwanzan, if you have any idea or Uh, knowledge from the yoga perspective, why the tongue should be resting against the top of the mouth.、Uh, maybe you can tell us.、Um, actually, at a yoga practice, we don't really say that where the, your tongue is.、Um, but I think in Chinese kung fu,、ah, I I, yeah, I, the the kung fu teacher, Chris kung fu teacher, mentioned that your tongue should. Top of your,、uh, how to say the part, your, your mouth, and、uh, my yoga teacher never. We, my teacher just said、uh, breathing through your nose, but my、uh, pranayama teacher mentioned if your tongue left up,、um, more easy to feel your mula bandha left up, more,、um, how to say your your body more activity. Your energy more flow up rather than relax when your tongue left up. So in certain pranayama practice, like kumbaka or、um, other practice, if your tongue left up, you feel more on your mula bandha, and、uh, you more your 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 chi more left up.、Mm-hmm. I remember my my pranayama teacher Robert.、Uh, he told us about that. But in asana practice,、um, we 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 really we don't really we we talk about the eye where you look at and、mm. breathing through your nose.、Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. You want to translate, and then we can start with the questions.、Mm. 然后老师刚才又读了一句，就是舌挂上颚，唇齿相助，目须常开，鼻息微通。然后其实就是关于气息，呃，其实讲的并不多，就是就是做做在禅修里面，其实气息讲的并不多，坐禅里面啊，气息讲的并不多。然后这个呢是是里面提到了一句，就是舌头要顶住上颚，两个嘴巴要闭起来，眼睛开开，眼睛要打开。要通过鼻孔呼吸。关于眼睛和鼻子呼吸呢，老师可能下节课的时候再给大家分析。然后他今天说了，就是舌头要顶住上颚，嘴巴应该闭起来，应该是用鼻子呼吸的。但是为什么这个舌舌要顶到上颚呢？其实，呃，也没有特别的一个要求。但是为什么要顶到上颚？老师刚才就是问我们瑜伽练习里面有没有要求。然后我刚才跟老师说的是，其实我们在练体式的时候，呃，就是我的瑜伽老师。
呃，没有要求过舌头要顶住上颚，他只是要求我们把嘴巴闭起来，然后通过鼻子呼吸，没有要求过舌头。但是我的呼吸法的老师，然后我我参加他那个课的时候呢，因为有一些呼吸法是要求你舌舌头顶住上颚的，然后老师解释到，因为当你舌头顶住上颚的时候呢，你会更加。容易的感受到木拉班的上提的能量，就是你可能身体连接更加强烈一些，特别是做像我们空巴卡哈，往上提，或者是一些一些一些特定的那个呼吸法的时候，舌头要是顶到上颚的，就是让你能量更加往上提，身体更加活跃，就是阳的能量更强。然后好像舌头下面也有一些神经神经系统啊，它是连接到大脑的一个什么，这些我我可能还要再查一下具体资料。但是老师讲过，当你的舌头往上顶的时候，你会更加强烈的感受到木拉班的上提。大家可以试一下哈。OK <笑>。OK， thank you. Do you have any questions? Anything you would like to share? There's a chat comment. Hello, Muho. One thing I learned is that you can also control your salivary flow much better. That's also something I heard.、Um, but funnily, in some books I read, if your meditation gets deeper, you develop more saliva. While in other books I read the opposite: that if your meditation is good, you develop less and you don't have to swallow anymore. That's also kind of a topic sometimes in meditation. Uh, am I supposed to swallow? Well, I do swallow during the Zen, but then there's well two different opinions. Some say the more saliva you have, the better; it's a good sign. And others say that if your meditation has a good quality, you develop less saliva and you don't have to swallow because of that. So I don't know. I don't know. But、uh, I also heard about that that、uh, if the tongue rests. Against the, mouth, the roof of the mouth, you don't really have to swallow consciously because your saliva will run down smoothly. But in my case, I experience that I have to swallow from time to time during the Zen. It doesn't just run automatically down my throat. Anything else you would like to share, Bernal? Please. Of the mouth, do you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay.、Uh, there's a technique、uh, developed by a doctor called mewing, and supposedly that's the instruction that he gives. If you put the the tongue on the root of the mouth, you kind of、um, encourage your mouth to open to widen all your your jaw. And that, as a consequence, enables you to breathe better, like breathe more air. And that came as a reference from another book that I read、mm -hmm. uh, about breathing. Uh, it was uh, a very integral approach about breathing, and one of the topics was the、uh, mouth, how our jaws,、uh, compared to the cavemen, are quite small. So、mm -hmm. they could breathe much better than us, and that has to do with the diet and among other things. But his、uh, instruction was to really do it all all the day, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if it's scientifically proven, but、mm. it makes sense a little. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Anything else you would like to share? Nothing. Okay. Next week is the seventeenth, I think. So.、Um, I will talk about Sawaki Roshi's to you again. 
And after that, 24th, I will be away again to, I'm going to go to Chigenji. And after that, 31st, I'm already in Germany. So that would mean next week would be the last time. And after that, uh, I think uh, Schwanzan will teach Pranayama during this time slot. So yeah, if you like, join again next week for Sawaki Roshi's quotes. And after that, uh, during the summer, join Schwanzan for Pranayama. So thank you for joining and have a nice week. See you again next Monday. Vielen Dank. Ja, danke schön. Tschüss. Thank you. Thank you. 大家早点睡，早点睡吧，我下楼吧。